Boys and girls, today we are going to draw a fish. The main thing I want you to remember is, do all fish look alike? No. So if you mess up from what I'm drawing, you can think about that there is probably a fish that does look like that in the ocean. Because even fish that are the same type look different. And there are so many different types of fish. So when we're drawing this, even if you mess up, it's not really a mess up because so many fish already look like that. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make this big. It's going to take up this whole little piece of paper. So our fish's tail is going to go from this corner. I'd like for you to use, keep your writing tool in your writing hand and use your opposite hand to point to this corner and then point to this corner. Now we are going to make our tail go from the very top of this corner and it's going to make like a curved triangle out and then back to this corner. So it's going to come out, curve around, and go down. If you want to draw that with your finger to help you so that way when you draw it later it might be a little bit easier, you can. From this corner around and down to this corner. So I'm going to draw it right now. Around and down to this corner. So now it looks just like that. And if you mess up, you can keep drawing lines. Like if you made your triangle too tiny, just make it bigger again. Fish have stripes in their tails. So if you have messed up lines, you can always turn it into a cool stripe. Now, we have this corner on this side and this corner on this side. We're gonna find the middle. Sometimes it's easier to find the middle if you kind of make fingers like this and pinch and then you find the middle. Now we're going to take our writing tool and we are going to make a tiny little line. Just a little tiny, tiny, tiny dot. That's like a note for us so that way we don't have to find the middle again. So we don't have to worry about it. Now we're going to find another middle. We're going to put our finger here and our finger here and we're going to find the middle. If you can already find the middle without having to do one of these tricks, then that's awesome. You don't have to do this. But we want to find the middle and we're going to make a tiny little, tiny little dot. That's another note for us. So that way we don't have to find the middle again. Now we're going to do the same thing to the bottom. We're going to make another note. From this corner and this corner, we're going to find the middle. And like I said, if you can already find the middle without having to do one of these tricks, then go ahead and we're going to make another little note. This way, our fish is going to take up the whole paper, so we're not wasting any paper. Now, we're not gonna make a super straight line from this dot to this dot. We're gonna make it with a little bit of a curve. So I'm going to draw my line, and then I'll show you. See how my line's not actually a straight line with the ruler? Like, I didn't need to make it with a ruler. It has a little bit of a curve to it. Oh, and I didn't even make it all the way to the dot. There we go. Now, this is the top of my fish. This is like the front of its face. So I'm going to bring this line down to here. Now, I don't want to make it connect right there because when I cut this out later, it'll be really hard to make that kind of corner. So we're going to make it easier for ourselves later when we cut it out. And we're going to scooch our writing tool up. And we're going to make another little note right there for us. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Make a little note and a little note. That way it's easier for us to draw. It's kind of like we're doing dot to dot. If you make notes in places for yourself when you're drawing, it's almost like you're doing dot to dot. And it makes things a whole lot easier. So now we're going to take our line. And we're not going to make a straight line. We're going to make a little bit of a curved line. So we are going to curve around and down. And if yours is a big curve, or maybe just a little curve, totally fine. Like I said, all fishes look different. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, but to the bottom side. So we are going to curve this around. And then we're going to curve this up. Now, it looks like we have a real fat fish. And fat fishes do exist, but we also want some fins. 
And we don't have any room for fins up here because we're out of paper space. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a fin right here. And like I said, you can draw it with your finger to practice if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. So that's going to be like a top fin. It doesn't looks kind of like a hat right now, but trust me, it'll look more like a fin in a little bit. Now we're going to make a bottom fin. All right, now we need an eye and a mouth and some gills. And gills are always curved, they're not straight. Now what we can do is we're going to add in some extra lines just for fun. If you want to, you can add in some curved lines to the fish his tail. You could also make these lines go straight out. You don't have to make them going up and down the way I did. You can make them go horizontally. We can go from left to right. And you can even take these lines and you can go back in and add other lines in between. Right here, I just made a pattern with straight, curvy, straight, and I'll do another curve. You don't have to do my pattern. You can do all different kinds of lines. We've already learned about lines, so you should be able to put in whatever kind of lines you want. Right here, I think I'll do these lines going at a diagonal. I like to do diagonals on the fins because that's just what I like to do. I feel like it makes it look like the water is rushing by. But you don't have to do that. And if you want to, you can put a pattern in between each stripe. So that way, it looks real fancy. Now what we're going to do is we are going to paint this in. Now that we've drawn it, we can paint it. Alrighty, I'm sure y'all all look awesome.